as a leader and as a manager, problems happen and you need to problem solve or have your team to do it. There are many problem solving methods, are they? From too simplistic to way too complicated. What simple yet powerful method can you use to solve many operational problems? Today, I want to, to add a visual tool to your problem solving toolbox, and in particular, one that complements the YY method. It is the fishbone diagram. Hello, this is Pierre Bienvenue from EMP. We are here to help remove anxiety from leadership as they gain greater clarity and control. Within Walking Distance is a series giving tips, tools and reflections for leadership. If you are new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the links relevant to this video that you will find in the description box below. MP. So let's answer the question. What simple yet powerful method can you use to solve many operational problems? All the problem solving techniques that I know follow the same general pattern. What is the problem you need to solve? What does it look like when we solve it? That is, the objectives. Describe the reality around the problem and find its root cause and the best solution. Implement it and check you met the initial objectives. And if you're smart, reflect and standardize. In Within Walking Distance 4, I introduced the YY or five wise method to find the root cause, which is part of problem solving. We're going to build on it and give you and your team a means to be both systematic and creative to find the root cause and the best solutions. If you need a name for it, just call it the structured problem solving method. It's YY plus Fishbone. For YY, just refer to the WWD4 video. I'll put the link below the video. The methods can be applied in many industries. Here are a few examples. For quality control, to identify the reasons for defects or problems in products or services. For manufacturing, to identify and eliminate the root causes of production problems. For healthcare, to identify the root cause of medical errors or infections. In the service industry, to identify the root cause of customer complaints or service problems in industries such as retail, hospitality and transportation. In project management, the problem solving method can be used to identify and resolve project problems such as delays or budget overruns. Let's look at the fishbone diagram, also called cause and effect diagram. It is a visual representation of the possible causes to a problem. It was popularized in the 1960s by Kaoru Ishikawa, who pioneered quality management processes in the Kawasaki shipyards. The diagram is shaped like a fish skeleton. The head is the problem we want to solve, and the branches represent different potential causes of the problem with sub-branches that break down these causes into smaller, more specific contributing factors. The main bones of the fish bone are categories of causes. There are typical ones like the six M's for manufacturing, such as manpower, material, method, measurement, mother nature, which is the environment. In the service industries, you may use the five S categories of surroundings, suppliers, systems, skill, and safety. I'll take a generic example to show you how to use the fishbone diagram. Let's say the problem is high reject rate on the production line. You brainstorm the possible causes such as manpower, operator error due to inadequate training or lack of supervision, machine, unreliable equipment due to poor plan maintenance, methods, outdated procedures, poor documentation. 
materials, poor quality raw materials, improper handling, measurement, improper calibration, mother nature or environment, temperature variations, high humidity. The team agrees on which of the possible causes are most probable. Here, there are several methods to reduce the possible causes to a few probable causes, such as voting. Now, we can use the five wives tool to systematically get to the root cause. From that point, you will want to identify all possible solutions, pick up the best one to implement, etc. One of the less known use of the fishbone diagram is that you can use it to brainstorm the possible solutions. Intuitively, you may think that if the root cause is, let's say, due to a method issue, then a method-centered solution would be most appropriate. The fishbone diagram is a good tool to categorize the potential solutions. In summary, the 5Y method and the fishbone diagram work together to provide a structured visual approach to problem solving. By combining the questioning technique of the 5Y method with the visual representation of the fishbone diagram. The root cause of a problem can be identified and the solutions developed to address it. Before I close here, here are a few ways that leadership can contribute to the success of using the structured problem solving method. Active participation. Leaders can participate in problem solving exercises, providing input and hoping to guide the process. This shows the team that leadership is committed to the process and provides valuable insights. Resource allocation. Leaders can provide the resources needed to gather data and perform root cause analysis, such as time and personnel. Follow up. Leaders can follow up on the results of the problem solving to ensure that appropriate actions are taken and that the desired outcome is achieved. This helps to build trust in the process and the results. In conclusion, the role of leadership in any problem-solving method is critical to its success. Leaders can provide the support, resources, and guidance needed to effectively use the fishbone diagrams and the five wires to identify the root cause of a problem and develop solutions. This helps to create a culture of continuous improvement where problems are addressed proactively and improvements are made to improve processes, products, and services. And this is the good quote for this episode, attributed to George Polia. The greatest challenge in problem solving is not solving the problem, but rather defining it. Isn't this beautiful? You may have a need to improve on your leadership skills, turn them into good habits, or you need support to transform your organization. I can help you. If you would like to meet with me for a free hour of leadership coaching, send me an email at wwd at mp.solutions. I will gladly start a conversation with the first three viewers who contact me. Feel free to connect. I'll be posting the next episode in two weeks. In the meantime, lead well and solve problems.